He's empowered an army over the last 40 years of individuals who are passionate about the practice of law, that are people of integrity and understand the meaning of selfless service. I'm thankful that he was my teacher, my coach, my mentor, my confidant, my colleague, and my friends for almost 40 years. He never stood above us, he stood beside us. I have spoken with judges and lawyers and advocates all over the state of Maryland, and I cannot tell you how many have said, if it wasn't for Byron Warnkin, I wouldn't be where I am today. Everyone looks up to him, they admire him, and they're just grateful that their lives and mine had an opportunity to cross paths with such a wonderful person. UB is UB because of Byron Warnkin. He's a giver. He, he gives constantly, and he loves, loves, loves this school. He really helped to put publicity on UB and bring UB out for the gem that it is. Avid Ravens fan Byron Warnkin says Curry may be convicted if prosecutors can convince the jury the 70 year Now we're joined by Professor Byron Warnkin from the University of Baltimore School of Law. Thanks for being here. I'm happy to be here. The beauty of how he taught really held true to the University of Baltimore's philosophy that they were preparing us to practice law. Not just teaching us some stuff in the clouds, but preparing us to pass the bar and become lawyers. He's very colorful and full of life and the way he teaches and taught each of us, he insisted on excellence, but he brought it out of his students. I remember him saying, I'm gonna throw you into 40 feet of water, and those that you that sink, nobody's saving you. For being, you know, five foot six or something, when you're a 1L and you come into his classroom on the first day, he was a giant of a man. Here is this man screaming at us and telling us that we're going to sink. Most people sink. You know, you've got to be better than the average person. He was a larger than life figure who had such a mastery of the material and was completely aware that everybody in the class knew nothing about it. I never had another class that difficult in my four years of law school. He was that law school professor that scared but that cared. He expects the students to be well prepared because he knows that that is what makes a good lawyer. He has very high standards for their performance. He asks no more of them than he asks of himself. The lessons that we all learned that first year from Byron Warnkin are never forgotten. And you can tell the lawyers who had Byron Warnkin. He wanted to share his wealth of knowledge and he wanted to share the law with everyone that he could so that the community would be better for it. He taught his own materials. He didn't rely on somebody else's book. He wrote the book on Maryland criminal procedure. It's a multi-volume treatise that every judge in the state of Maryland has on his or her shelf, every practicing criminal lawyer has, uh, because it's indispensable. And like our law school, Byron's treatise is very practical. It tells you how to get the job done. One of the ways that he implemented the practical was to offer in provide the internships for anybody who wanted them. He can call anybody in this state and just say his name is Byron Warnkin and they're going to answer his phone call. Students don't have that kind of contact. So what he found was is that there needed to be a more comprehensive organized program to help students get the work experience, the connections. The floor program is something that uh, was conceived by Professor Warnkin. Uh, that actually allows each first year student to have a legal experience during the summer of their first year. A lot of other law schools have tried to catch on to the idea, but it was invented right here at the University of Baltimore by Byron. He wanted to advocate and push students really getting the experience of being a lawyer. So one of the best experiences that a University of Baltimore law student can have is to participate in our moot court program. The Moot Court program is where students get their first chance to stand up and perform in a role as a lawyer. Byron led and championed the National Moot Court team. Not just championed it, I mean, he made it. He has built a, a Moot Court program that is the envy of any school in the country. He loved teaching students that style of argument, even when he wasn't running the program anymore. 
That was his baby. You don't pass through the University of Baltimore's hallways without having a piece of Byron Warren can go with you. And so what an honor to have that passion sort of recognized by naming the moot court room after him. This is a man that had argued in the Supreme Court, argued many times in front of the Court of Appeals. Nobody gave as much of himself. He's changed the face of the legal community, I think, because he's worked with so many different people in the law, but he's also quite substantively changed Maryland law. He has empowered a lot of people all over the state. That's his legacy. You could tell it wasn't a job. It was a calling for him. He requires the best because he gives the best. And you can't help but gravitate toward that and emulate that. Professor Warnkin will take the time to help you. He will take the time to have a conversation. He will take the time to listen. I really love Byron Warnkin. That's it. He's just, he's one of the greatest human beings I've ever met. It's just a very, very special place. I mean, I, I taught here, I, 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 I lectured here, I ran the moot court program here. I, I've been with this law school virtually all of my adult life, so I'm just so incredibly honored to have the moot court room named in my honor. If you think about Byron Warnkin's legacy, you've got to think about all the people he has touched over the years. So many students uh, owe their success to Byron Warnkin. We can't thank him enough. If you want to practice law, come to UB. And that comes from Professor Warnkin.